Uh, well, I guess my first impressions of the conference is that I, I feel like the the level of volleyball is on the rise in the Peach Belt. Um, mm -hmm. Lander did an excellent job uh, last year, and I look for them to be even stronger this year. I feel like Augusta finished the, the year really strong last year. They have some nice athletes. They had a big win over us towards the end of the year. Uh, Montevallo is always, you know, I think that they're just loaded with really nice uh, talent level. And then, of course, you know, Armstrong and I have... And Armstrong and Flagler have finished in the in the top of the conference the last several years, and I think that that should be uh, you know those two teams will be battling again at the very top. You know we're welcoming eight new athletes to the to our program this year, and and you know we're really going to miss um, just the the experience level. We graduated four seniors, and they have they offered they brought a lot of experience to our team, uh, just kind of game savviness. And so we're going to miss that, but I feel like um, this class brings in a lot of really good talent to us. And so um, Mackenzie Mosley is a setter, and uh, she's not only a good setter, but she's a very, very good defender, good server. Um, I look for her to really um, make some big contributions right away in her freshman year. Um, other newcomers include Megan Hooks. Uh, Megan is from uh, the North Carolina area. She's an outside hitter, and you know, she's been... Um, all year long, and in her in her, her club team was a very very strong club team, and and she's been playing that left side position, and you know Megan is is going to be someone who is going to you know have to work on her her serve receive skills, but I think that she's going to be someone who competes right away for playing time as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Janelle Sturgeon is an outside hitter from the Orlando area, and Janelle, um, she um, she plays outside at Lake Mineola, but she plays middle in her on her club team. And she can kind of play all the positions. She's a very good blocker, very good jumper. And so I think that, you know, with a player like Janelle, we're going to have just some uh, versatility. She could play a lot of different positions for us. Um, another athlete from North Carolina is Rachel Bryant. Rachel Bryant is just uh, a gem, you know, just one of those athletes who's um, a real great team chemistry person, but um, also just a very, very hard worker. Uh, she plays middle blocker, and, and um, you know, I look for her with the, the, the graduation of, of Rachel Stacey. I look for her to come in and, and you know, compete uh, for playing time at that position. I would say that Rachel is just someone who I've just been so impressed with over the last two years. She's sneaky good. You know, she just, uh, you know, you, you look at, at her initially, and, you know, she doesn't pop out to you because she's not uh, a super big athlete, not a super big jumper, but she just really knows how to... Um, get the job done and, and is a very good competitor. In the middle also we have Ashley Chiwa. Ashley's coming from uh, Palm Beach, and the Palm Beach area, and uh, Ashley's a 6'1", 6'2", uh, middle blocker. She's a uh, very, very good jumper, strong offensive skills. You know, we want to kind of, you know, improve her arm swing a little bit and her ball control skills a little bit, but I look for Ashley to, to really be a very, very strong physical presence for us at the net right away. Janine Reddick comes to us from uh, Jacksonville Juniors, just about an hour to the north. Uh, Janine plays the opposite position, or the right side, opposite the setter. And she's someone who, um, she's a, a strong blocker, a strong offensive player, um, and I look for her to, you know, this year I think is going to be a big year of growth for Janae. She's um, an athlete who, she hasn't been exposed to, to, to volleyball the same probably for the same duration of time that a lot of the other athletes have. And, and so she's someone who I think every day is going to get a little bit better with, with training and, and experience. Um, we have two walk-ons. Um, Delaney Hansen is a, a back row player from the Orlando area. Delaney uh, came to camp two years ago and just really impressed me with her serve-receive skills and her serving game. And so I look for her to really push Caitlin Kovac, you know, for playing time at the Libro position. And then the uh, the other athlete that I would mention is Amber Prioni. Amber um, is from the Clearwater area. Grew up playing for the same club that Caitlin Kovac did, and she's a very good athlete. Um, she's someone who's probably physically more fit to play the outside hitter position. But the video that I have of her in from the recruiting process is her playing the middle. She's a good jumper, very fast arm, and so initially she'll she'll be uh, help trying to uh, compete for playing time in the middle. We returned a good, a strong group of players. Uh, Amelia Morgan led the conference in assists last year. She's also, for quite a while, one of the 
the better servers in the conference. And I look for her to repeat that. You know, last year towards the end, middle to end of the year, she um, ended up having some, some problems with her hips, and I think that slowed her down a little bit. But she's really worked hard over the, the spring semester and this summer, and I look for her to come back and have a really strong strong year for us. Amelia is one of those athletes that I think is, um, she's a kind of a natural leader, and she's someone who I think is going to, um, you know, take her game from where she was as a freshman, you know, as a full-time starter to, a, to the next level this year. Can't say enough about Emily Taylor. Emily is, uh, a, you know, has been at the top of the conference the last two years as an LSA hitter in terms of her scoring and her um, kills per game. And I look for her to, to continue that success. You know, she's just been a, a tremendous player for us. The one thing that I... I think that she really spent a lot of time on over the the spring and summer was just improving her serve receive game and just building confidence in those areas and and I feel like if she is able to you know really do a great job with her serve receive game I think that she's got you know provided the team does well she's got the ability to become an all-american here at Flagler. Uh the other athlete is is uh Sophie Meyer. Sophie is um She's kind of our uh, just like a, an X factor, I think, for us. She's someone who, um, at her very best, I think that she's um, probably got the fastest arm on our team and, and is one of our better athletes. Um, I think the thing with Sophie is I just would like to see her just kind of grab onto it and, and really uh, have as much confidence in herself as I think the team and the coaching staff have in herself. And if she can do that, she would have a, a phenomenal season. Uh, Shaylee Eosef is another SA hitter. She, uh, you know, she spent most of last year injured, and and uh, we're really looking forward to to seeing Shaylee at her best in a, in a healthy situation, and and really uh, pushing the athletes at the SA hitter position and competing for uh, starting position herself. Abby Myers, uh, she is, uh, I think. Um, one of the the better middle blockers, one of the stronger middle blockers and quick attackers in our conference. Last year, uh, before she was injured on Halloween weekend, she was near the top efficiency wise. She was near the top in blocks per game, and she was a big difference maker for us. When she left our lineup, we had some holes to fill, and uh, we just weren't able to to play at the same level without her. And so I look forward to having a, a very very healthy uh, Abby Meyer in our lineup this year. Last but not least is Caitlin Kovac, and Caitlin, you know, she played um, uh, a DS role for us last year. By all uh, rights, she probably could have probably competed for more time at the Libro position. I think that her overall defensive game and and uh, and uh, serving game is probably a, a cut above um, where we were last year in terms of of our Libro position. And, and I feel like if Caitlin can solidify her her serve receive game, I look for Caitlin to kind of continue the tradition that we have here at Flagler of having very strong Libros.